Okay, so it's our show for the new year that's coming. We're going to talk about that. resolutions. Uh, Kelly's new hair color. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Oh, our session with vintage jewelry <laughs> continues. Um, and how to really make good on your New Year's resolutions. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get started talking about New Year's style before we come to the heavier topic of resolutions. Um, but of course, we can't do that until we all ask Kelly about her new hair yes. color. Yes. Oh so my goodness. tell us, what prompted yeah. the change? I'm a huge fan of change. Um, and I have had dark hair since my kids were born. And I just oh wanted gosh. something new. And I just thought, it's my birthday. It's the holidays. Why wait till the summer to have blonde hair? Just do it. Do it. it looks so, great. And I, lo I love change. So. It's I just so went fun. for it. Yeah, new it's hair. I've had blonde hair before, many times, so it wasn't new, but it'll be new to all of our fabulous customers. <laughs> and you like it? But I'm still the wonderful person. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I learned I love it. about Kelly that I didn't know and I think is so interesting. She's had like every different shade of hair color, which yeah. I applaud you for being yeah. so brave because I have had blonde hair my whole life. Mm -hmm real or not, and I'm never brave enough to change it. I'm pretty brave when it comes you to hair. You are brave. And yeah. when it comes to style, of course. So um, yeah. so we'll kick off, of course, new hair color, but what yeah. else are you all wearing for New Year's Eve? Those of you who are smart enough to go out and not stay in. Well, I am obsessed with all the vintage jewelry, and actually I wore <laughs> earrings on the last show, which I wanted to buy, but they sold out so quickly. <laughs> so we, all these one-of-the-kind pieces I'm obsessed with, so this year I'm definitely going to be incorporating one of these pieces into my look. I'm always looking for little crystals and like fun things to wear in my hair, which we also have on Joyous, yeah. those little crystal mm -hmm. hairpins, which are really fun, but I really am loving all the necklaces. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm actually going to be in Hawaii, where I'm from, um, and my New Year's is spent on the beach. So it That's kind fun. of, I'm always a little sad I don't get to buy a holiday dress. I'm looking at them in the mirror in the, in the windows. But I'm going to be wearing something um, by a company called Rubel, and they make these really neat vintage Hawaiian headpieces. Oh, right. So you should have like one of those, French right? lace with big orchids. It's beautiful, <gasps> and you need a big event to wear it. Yeah, very that. cool. Okay, yeah. yes. That's neat. Yes. I'm going to a girlfriend's house and there's going to be lots of kids there. It's still pretty, it's pretty over the top party, but it's, there's a lot of kids running around. So I have to be comfortable, but I also want to look very holiday. Mm -hmm. So I love sequins. I love vintage sequins. I love new sequins. So I'm going to wear this Blessed Are the Meek top that we're selling at Joyous. And my favorite Bailey 44 pencil skirt. You know how much I love the skirt. I wear it in almost all the videos, but I just love it because it's comfortable. It's knit. It's sexy. I can put it on. I can wash it at home or I can. It's easy care, easy wear, but it doesn't look that easy. So that's what I'm going to wear. Cool. Well, of course, I could lie and tell you all that I'm going out for New Year's, but I'm not because every year I like to be in my pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> Either okay. in Tahoe where we go to ski um, or home. Are they sequined? Um, they're not even sequined. <laughs> this year I did invest in a new pair of pajamas that don't look ragged yep. from our holiday collection, so they actually are quite stylish. Oh, I have those too. They're so um, cozy. Yeah, I did the gray yeah. and the polka so dot. Do you stay up till midnight? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still going to be a fabulous New Year, and I'm uh, and I'm in my pajamas, so I can't I can't admit to anything that fashionable. But away we go. All right, so now on to the meatier topic of resolutions and. To remind you all mm -hmm. of the ground rules, we are in mm -hmm. fact reporting on these resolutions to all of you throughout the month of January. Um, so it's time to be honest and rather public with what you intend to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, I'll no. start. I'll start. I'm have been feeling really nervous about this. Something about saying it on camera is really going to keep us honest. It so is. It's scary. Feeling a little nervous, but um, my goal is to be more financially responsible. So for me, that means starting to invest, working with a financial planner. Moving from my old Excel spreadsheet, which I've had for years, into something more official, like a Quicken. Um, and then trying to do some more tangible things. So my goal, step by step, is first to sign up with the financial planner. I've actually just opened an independent 401k because I've been a contractor for 10 years, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then from there, I plan to do, um, someone recommended to me Dave Ramsey's financial mm. piece. Have you guys heard of that? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Someone recommended to, that to me as a great thing for couples to do together, mm. as just a good way to learn how to interact with each other financially and 
that's all very scary to me, but that's my goal. Yeah. My husband and I have been doing that since November. So we're mm -hmm. on that. So that can't be my actual goal because I already started, yeah. but my goal... You inspired me a little bit, I have to yeah. say. Really? You, you, really you always inspire me. No. Okay. <laughs> but um, this year, you know, every year I always have the gotta lose weight goal or get more fit. And this year I have to say, I actually obtained that. I started working out on a much more regular basis with Leandra, which is great. I work out with her twice a week, and I go to ballet classes twice a week. So I feel like I am, I am done when it comes to exercise, right? But one thing I've not learned in this voyage that I am on is how to cook. I don't know how to cook yet. Yeah. I don't know the basics. So this year for Christmas, I got cooking lessons. So my goal is, my tangible results will be, um, Two days a week, I want to cook for my children. Two nights a week. And make them a nice homemade dinner. Simple, but something we can all eat as a family. Sometimes I cook, you can relate to this. I love I cook that. for them, then I cook for me. Yeah. I want to cook yeah. for all of us. Yeah. And then um, at the end of the month, I'm going to throw a big dinner party. I love that. So that's, that's it. So great. Yeah. That's my goal. And so, so important for nutrition. For yeah. To learn how to cook. It's a good yeah. one. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. So wish so, me luck. I know. I'm so excited that we're tracking this. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> sarcasm. I'm so excited. Um, so no, every year I look forward to New Year's Eve because I know that's the time when I get to check in with myself and kind of reevaluate all my goals for the next year. So I'm I love this time of year for that. Um, and one of the things that I've been thinking about putting on my goal list is really paying attention this year to my health and wellness, especially exercise. I know that sounds really cliche, something I think we all probably can relate to. We think about at the beginning of the year, but I really want to get back on track because this year I've been working so much and I've definitely have been putting exercise a little bit on the back burner. So, and Kelly, you actually have inspired me working with Vandra. I mean, I've seen you, you've stuck to your goals. You really have been pushing through Thanks. and yeah, it's so great working around all the you fabulous, inspiring women here. Um, so I'm going to be exercising five days a week is my long-term goal. That's a lot. Uh, that's I need to set. I know a it's a lot. lot. Start small, then get bigger. Yeah, that's my long-term goal, which I need to set a specific date by when I want to yeah. achieve that. And then I'm going to start out with three days a week, um, which I already have started. So my plan of action, my strategic plan of action right now is to start right now, start getting in the groove, and then by the time January one hits. I'm like already kind of in the flow and it feels good. Good, good. for you. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish I could say that I have a different goal than sort of um, exercising or getting leaner. I, that's one of my goals, but I think probably the more interesting one to talk about is I feel like every year I make commitments to my husband that I don't keep. Uh -oh. I shouldn't <laughs> laugh and say that. It's more that, I'm a, it's more that I'm a workaholic mm -hmm. and he knows it. Um, but what I was, what what he asked me for this year is is really to be home one night for dinner on time. Mm -hmm. And I used to actually do it reasonably regularly, but in the last six months, it's just gone out, gone out the window. There's many days I get home at seven o'clock. I'm a commuter, mm -hmm. and so that's obviously mm -hmm. an issue. And the kids have already eaten. They've got less than half an hour before they're going to bed. You know, and we don't even sit down and eat a meal together. So. Mine is simply to make good on my promise of November that, in fact, I'm going to try and get home one night a week and just stay at that level. Like, I don't think I can increase it. I don't, like, have any goals to, like, reach beyond just to actually be able to be home well, with my family. they say the best dinner. goals are ones that are actually very achievable. Tangible. Yeah, yeah. I like tangible. I, I think that's, commit to. that's a great goal because, yeah. you know, it's one night. It's like you can, you can obtain that. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's not that I don't want to. I mean, I love spending time with my family. It's just... It's just hard. Yeah. So, um, so as you can tell, we've all committed our goals, yeah. and what we'd really love to do is have you commit yours. Um, as you know, whenever you speak a goal, you make it more tangible. So write it down in Facebook, share it with us. It will help keep us motivated. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, as I said, it's part of the act of committing yourself to making things happen. Uh, with that, we're going to wrap up. Our giveaway to get you started uh, on your New Year's resolutions is the double happiness earrings. We love these earrings. Yes. Um, we have them at Joyous. There they are. So um, pretty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous earrings. So treat yourself before the New Year. Um, and with that, we're going to give you a sneak peek of what's coming up.